G'day folks. Well, I might have voided the warranty, but I figured it was worth a look. Got a $100 uh, Samsung LED monitor, and I've already taken the back off it. I haven't even plugged it in yet. It'd be an awful shame if it didn't work and I had to try and claim warranty. Oh well. Curiosity killed the cat, as they say. Um, as you can see, there isn't much to it. That's sort of why they're 100 bucks for a 20-inch monitor now. The panel's an LM... 200K T08. Uh, it looks like a normal LCD panel with the driver board and everything up here. Pretty straightforward. Uh, but the backlight is all LED, so that's why there are no high voltage inverters or anything in this. It's just, well, it looks like that cat might feed it, but even then there's the power input socket, which is 14 volts DC. Um, no, that's front panel control. That's the LED backlight and there's just a series of surface mount transistors or something there. There really isn't much to it at all. It's so incredibly simple. That's the chip there. BZZ20BGAA and that's not even the actual chip's name. I'd have to scrape that label off to find out what it really is. It's all snap hook design. There is not one screw I've had to remove to do this. I just had to carefully pop the case apart with a very, very thin screwdriver. And there's nothing under that board either. Well, that's incredibly simplistic. Um, inexpensive. It looks like all reasonable surface mount components and things. Like, it shouldn't give too much trouble, but if it does, it'd be fairly fatal to it. So, oh, well, for a hundred bucks, what do you get? It's not too bad. But yeah, it's the model S20B300B. Now, the fun part of clipping it all back together again. Yay! Worst part is there's nowhere to put a wall bracket on it. Hell, now that I've got the back cover off, I might as well bloody <laughs> screw the wall bracket to the plastic cover. That's actually not a bad idea, as long as the screws don't protrude in. Or you keep the um, countersunk heads on this side, I can actually put a wall bracket on this. So I was wondering how I was going to do that before because there ain't no posts for a, a wall bracket. Yes, yeah, so let's mod this monitor since I've already voided the warranty. I'll attach a wall bracket to it. Well, and that is how you wall mount a S20B 300B Samsung monitor. <laughs> Takes a little bit of extra work, but the bolts are non-interference with the PCB. I've got a few standoffs in there just to level the bracket out a bit but overall should work pretty well. Uh, the back stand, the rubber ones could probably be a bit thicker because as you can see the mount's still at an angle but for what I'm doing I just want it angled down ever so slightly so the mount can do that. It's fully, it can be pivoted in both directions so it's really good. Just some extra bolts from the old Yamato dataway system and ironically those bronze, bu or bronze bushings that are the small standoffs came out of a Samsung multifunction centre. So I've got one Samsung product recycled into another. Very good. Just got to work out an approximate location, transfer these screw holes onto the wall, drill it, make it so that I can just hang it there. I'm just going to use the slots and just hang it onto the wall and uh, reassemble it. Job done. That's all for now. I'll uh, install it probably next week. And thanks for watching. Well, that's always a good sign. Up and running and ready for install. A nice sharp image. Well, we'll know for sure once I display a signal, but no, it's good. Super lightweight. I love how these monitors are so light. No more big heavy bricks or chunky CRT systems or anything like that. Still waiting on some bits and pieces for the DLP television, but that's all freebies, so no rush on that one. That's awesome. That'll be one of the next TV projects you see. I'll be reassembling that one with some new parts in it. Or at least to start with a new lamp and see if that's what it needs. If it needs a ballast, well, apparently I'm getting a couple of different good ones to use. So, yeah. That's one display product done. Just need a bit of a clean. I've got fingerprints all over it. But apart from that, very good. I can go up on the wall as soon as I clear up that back corner again. <laughs> 